We're joined now by a man whose mind is controlled by no one but himself, author and columnist Mark Stein. So, Mark, there are no more drug abusers, there are no more juvenile delinquents, there are no more felons. Right. Does this, imp does this improve the life of the average person in San Francisco? Like, what is the point? Well, the point, as you say, is to actually disarm uh, the people from being able to debate certain issues. Yes. Uh, you know, you'll, you, you, the, the, the argument is that if you call someone a felon, it's a pejorative term, it's a value judgment, uh, and it might make you uh, predisposed to think of him in a bad way. So instead you say he's a person impacted by the criminal justice system. In fact, you're the person impacted by the criminal justice system because the felons keep pleading them down to misdemeanors so they never get put in jail so they're out on the street to rob and burgle you again but plain speaking oddly enough uh, is only reserved for particular targets uh, for example you can still call someone a serial gang rapist if he happens to be the next republican nominee for the supreme court but other than other than that uh, we have this immense cleansing of language. And they're playing for big game here. Uh, I noticed about a decade ago, um, the government of Spain uh, removed the words mother and father from its birth certificates and replaced them by progenitor A and progenitor B. Um, I recommend to anyone watching, if you're in a Spanish singles bar and you say, hey, do you want to come back to my hotel room and play progenitor A and progenitor B tonight? <laughs> well, okay, uh, but only if I can be progenitor B this time. The fact <laughs> is, the abolition of mother and father is actually quite a big thing. Uh, and the left is clever about this. They play for big prizes. You know, uh, one of the reasons I despair about the political right is because uh, we get all impressed because, uh, oh, yeah, we're trying to get a, a cut in uh, capital gains tax through Congress. Exactly. Meanwhile, they're abolishing the sexes. They're abolishing the sexes. That's, exactly That's right. incredible. That's incredible. They're reordering the natural order. They're, they're yeah, fighting yeah. nature and winning, and the rest of us are still either playing these dumb, low-stakes grievance politics that we do, or arguing about, as you put it so perfectly, the capital gains rate, as if that really matters, because, of course, it doesn't. Meanwhile, no one's getting yeah. married. All the kids are born out of wedlock, and the society collapses. How did we miss right. this? How do we miss the important things? Well, I think one of the, the reasons, I think one of the problems is that we get head faked the right gets head faked into playing on the left's terms, in part because the left changes the meaning uh, of all the words, so that you end up you end up talking the same nonsense as the left. People now uh, can be uh, have their careers ruined because they misgender someone on Twitter. Uh, we shouldn't actually concede these things lightly. I agree. The, 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 the patent absurdity of these things, the, the British government about 10 years ago in London, they decided they wouldn't use the term Islamic terrorism because it was discriminatory. So the Home Secretary announced she was going to call it anti-Islamic activity on the grounds that if a chap walks into a crowded restaurant with a suicide belt yelling Allahu Akbar, it might risk giving Islam the whiff of a bad reputation, so it's anti-Islamic activity. Th this is actually industrial-scale Orwellianism, where you're actually precisely inverting the meaning yes. of language, as you said, so that people can't even discuss certain topics anymore. When we give up these battles over words, we give up autonomy. You can't, if, if someone else can tell you what words you can use, that person's in charge of your mind. I, I, I will never understand why we allowed that to happen. No, abso absolutely. And you see it on, on the critical, one of the critical issues for the Trump administration, um, immigration, where terms, uh, speaking as an immigrant myself, the term immigrant no longer means what it used to do, which is some, someone who comes here legally and fills in the paper. As a joke, when they introduced these terms, undocumented immigrants, as a joke in a column in the Chicago Sun-Times, uh, some years ago, I said, uh, oh, why don't we just call them members of the undocumented American community? Harry
Harry Reid, about two years later, stood up on the floor of the Senate and actually yeah. used the phrase undocumented Americans without irony. The, right. the, the whole point is that the Second Amendment, they want to get rid of it to take away your guns. The First Amendment, they want to take away your words. They want to take away your power to argue, your power to debate, your power to even raise certain topics. Yes, your power to think for yourself, the mm. most important freedom of all. Mark Stein, great to see you tonight. Thank you for that. Thanks a lot, Tucker.